What if I told you a new injectable medication helped over half of users drop 20% of their baseline weight and nearly one third of users drop 25% of their baseline weight? This ain't hype, this is Cadresema. And it might be the newest heavyweight in obesity medicine. But the big question is, does it beat Zepbound? Or are we just watching two top dogs throw down in the pharmacological octagon? Today, I'm breaking down the fresh off the press, redefine one trial, and we're gonna be talking about and answering the question as to whether Cagrisema is the new champ. But before we dive in, if you are here for science-backed obesity insights and have no tolerance for diet culture BS, then smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of my content and keep getting all the good info you need. Let's start with the basics. Cagrisema is a tag team. It contains semaglutide, aka Ozempic, aka Wagovi, which of course is a GLP-1 receptor agonist, which slows down gastric emptying, reduces your appetite, and tamps down that dopamine hit that you get from junk food. The other component is cagrolintide, an amylin analog, which means it mimics your body's natural amylin hormone that gets produced and released with insulin when you eat a meal. Amylin normally acts in what's called the postrema and hypothalamus parts of your brain. The postrema is basically your nausea satiety control center and the hypothalamus is kind of like your temperature regulator. It always wants to keep everything in balance. You can kind of think of it like this. GLP-1 says you're not actually that hungry and amylin says also you're already full. Together these two put a double lock on your appetite system and ensure that the front and back door are closed. Now, as a quick aside, did you know that keeping your Wagovi and Zepbound pens at the right temperature while you're traveling isn't optional, it's essential? These medications are temperature sensitive and if they get too hot or if they get too cold, that's gonna degrade the medication and make it ineffective. And that is where the For All Family travel coolers come in. We have two models that I love. The first is the Voyager, which provides continuous refrigeration via USB power or a biogel ice pack. And we have the Nomad model, which is smaller, sleeker, sexier, but it can keep your meds cool for a period of 28 to 30 hours, which is great for those weekend trips. And because you are one of my amazing viewers, you can use my discount code DANB10 and get 10% off your entire order at forallfamily.com. Again, the code is DANB10 and the link and everything that you need are all down below. So check it out and make sure that you are traveling with peace of mind and not risking your meds. Now onto the trial. We have the Redefine One trial here. This was a global 68 week phase three randomized control trial that included 3,400 individuals that had obesity and no diabetes. And the 3,400 individuals were randomized into one of four arms. We had the Kegrisema group, the semaglutide alone group, a cregrilinotide alone group, and a placebo group. And every single person in this trial got lifestyle counseling about following a 500 calorie per day deficit, getting X amount of activity, so this wasn't just an inject and hope we see some results kind of trial. Now, let's get on to the good stuff. What they found for results in terms of mean weight loss was, Kegrisema in the purple there led to an average weight loss of 20.4% down from baseline. Semaglutide alone led to a weight loss of about 14.9%, which is pretty on par with what we've seen in other trials. Cagrilinotide on its own led to a weight loss of about 11.5% from baseline. And the placebo group lost about 3% from baseline, which is a pretty decent amount of what we would expect in a good randomized controlled trial with a placebo group that got proper counseling around lifestyle. Now, as you probably noticed there, there wasn't like a stacking of one drug on top of the other. So we didn't get 11.5% with the cagrilinotide and then another 15% with semaglutide, but we did get a synergy in that when the two were used together, we got that 20% loss from baseline. And this isn't just a small amount of weight loss, like I lost a few pounds for vacation. This is like I lost 50 pounds and changed my life. Now check out these results right here. As you can see, 54% of the Cadbury Sema users lost greater than or equal to 20% of their baseline weight. 
and nearly 20% of users lost greater than or equal to 30% of their baseline weight. That is one in five individuals achieving near bariatric surgery level results, and that's no knife, no downtime, no recovery, or anything like that. That is just purely because of the medication combination. Now, of course, the authors of this study also looked at a subset of people and tried to get what the body composition changes were. And what they found was that 67% of the weight that was lost came from fat mass and 33% came from lean mass. Now, this wasn't an ideal result. We always want to try and preserve more muscle and lean mass tissue as we possibly can. But given the level of weight loss that we saw, this is within the reasonable realm of what we would expect. Now, for a comparison, in studies with tirzepatide, there was a lean mass loss of about 25%, so a bit better lean mass preservation in comparison to what we're seeing with Kagrisema here. Other results also included a reduction in blood pressure levels as well, about 88% of the individuals that had prediabetes saw normalization of their blood sugar levels. Again, with these medications, we're not just trimming love handles, we're getting a cardiometabolic upgrade. Now, as a quick aside, are you ready to start taking control of your health and create a lasting change? Then you need to sign up for my Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. This is your go-to resource for expert guidance, science-backed resources, and a community that gets it and is on the journey there with you to help you along the way. My Empowerment Hub is about more than just weight loss. It is about helping you live your happiest and healthiest life. So if you're ready to start taking control of your health today, check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. The link and everything that you need are all down below. Now, what about side effects? Because it's never all just smooth sailing and disappearing waistlines. What we did see in this trial is that a vast majority of people, about 92%, experienced some kind of adverse event, and it was the usual culprits of like nausea, heartburn, constipation, diarrhea, and so on. There was two deaths that were reported in the trial, but they don't appear to be related to the medication in any form or fashion. And the dropout rates due to side effects were pretty reasonable with about 6% coming from the Kagrisema group and about 3.5% in that placebo group. The authors of this study also looked at mental health scores to see if there was any changes in things like suicide or anything around that realm, and everything was stable and good to go and there was no signs of worsening depression, anxiety, or other mental health conditions. So there was no big surprises, but constipation did show up as a little bit more common in this study in comparison to previous studies or what we've seen with GLP-1 medications alone. Now, how does all of this compare to ZepBound? Well, when we look purely at weight loss, they're pretty much in a dead heat. When it comes to additional metabolic perks, tirzepatide might have the advantage here in that it's better at removing that visceral fat, the fat that's around our organs, the fat we're really concerned about, and it may also lead to better muscle preservation. In terms of pure appetite suppression, Kagrisema might be the winner in this category. Coolest name? Well, no question on that one. Kagrisema definitely has got that covered. The bottom line though, Kagrisema is an effective agent. It might not be superior to Tirzepatide in all of the different realms, but it is another elite agent that we have available and it's adding options and tools to our tool belt. Now, if you're one of my premium OG YouTube members, I've got some additional content for you. We are gonna dive into who might get the most benefit from being on Kagrisema and who should actually consider switching over to it when it becomes available. And if you haven't signed up to become one of the OG members of my YouTube channel, well then you need to do that today and start getting the expert-backed insights, real-life case studies, and all of the extra goodies that I provide to the OG members. Sign up today, become one of our members, and you can get access to this additional content. So let's bring this one into land. Kagrisema isn't just another random weight loss medication that does something of something. It's actually a new powerful tool that acts along a new pathway that could be a game changer for obesity medicine. Is it perfect? Well, of course not. But is it promising? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Kagrisema? Have you hit a plateau on your current medication? Or maybe you're still struggling with food noise and the appetite satiety piece of things? And would you consider switching or do you need more long-term data before you can make that decision? Drop a comment, share your story, and let's talk. All right, that is it and that is all you beautiful people. I know you love this video and so since you did, you need to make sure that you smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of my content. But of course, also like and share this video with anybody else that you think is gonna get some 
benefit too. As well, check me out on all the other social media channels at the official Dr. Dan, and of course, check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub to start taking control of your health today. The links and everything that you need and all the products and stuff like that that I recommend are all down below in the description. Check it all out. And of course, as I always sign off, please make sure you keep being kind to yourself. And remember, it is the small tweaks that lead to those massive peaks.